Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So basically, now today basically we are going to make a project and that project is like, uh, you'll be having a PDF file. So that project will be convert PDF to TXT file. So we all know that whenever we just like make a PDF, so the extension is dot PDF, right? That whenever we just use this extension that is dot PDF, our file is basically saved into the PDF format, right? Now after that, if we make a text file, so that that's basically having the extension as .txt. So whenever we just add that extension, that is .txt. So a file is actually saved in the text format, right? This is the whole idea which actually goes on. So basically today I'm just going to tell you how you can just convert that .pdf to .txt extension using the Python program. So now you will not be needing any further software, any particular app, any Google search like that for converting a PDF to text. Now you can just convert that on your own. Right. So basically, let's start with the program for now. And I would just let you know that the library which we are going to use today is PyPDF2. Okay, so that is PyPDF2. Okay, this is the name of the library that we are going to use today. So what I'm just doing is that I will just go on to my terminal and install that library for my ID which I am using here. That is PyCharm. Okay. Okay, let me just quickly write down it here. So I would write pip and p would be capital, y would be small and it would be pdf. Uh, pip and after pip I will just write install okay pip install and I will just leave the space between pip and install right so this is the library which I will be installing and I would just do enter here so basically it will be installed for me it is showing that requirement already satisfied because I have already downloaded this file onto my device right so for you it will be basically installed and after that will show that successfully installed right I would just even write the command here also that is pip install now please make sure to write the correct spelling and correct uh, like characters for the pi pdf to library i'm just again repeating that once more that p would be capital y would be small and it would be pdf and then true right fine so as soon as i have import sorry install my library onto my uh, folder onto my it which i am using i would be importing that okay so i would just simply write here import and name for my library is pi pdf2 so I just simply write import pi pdf2 okay now basically come on to the next line now in this next line basically what i'm just gonna do is that i'm gonna read or oh, firstly open my file and read my pool or uh, read my file that pdf file which i'm just talking about read that pdf file onto basically in the rb mode rb okay this is the mode which i'm just gonna use so for that basically i would just use as read underscore pdf let's say this is the a variable name that i am making okay now variable names totally depend on you that basically what you want to make what you do not want to make but for me let's say i'm just making read underscore pdf okay now if i just want to read a file so that thing i've already like discussed in the uh, basically whenever we had just discussed about the file handling i've already discussed so it means quickly repeat that here so whenever basically we want to deal with the text file so in that we uh, in that case basically we use the file handling technique for reading writing or basically any or doing any operation on a file we just the first thing is that we need to open the file so for that we use a function that is open okay I would write here open and after that a name for my PDF is data science.pdf. This is the like PDF that I have already stored in my PyCharm folder. Actually, where I'm just making the project into that folder only. I have installed and basically stored this uh, file. Okay, so data science.pdf, I just put a comma and here I would just more, uh, like put my remote and that is RB. Right now, basically, read underscore PDF is equal to open data science dot PDF RB. Now, basically, what I'll be doing is that I would be uh, using my uh, pi PDF two library, and with that, some function of this library, and after that, I'm just reading this read underscore PDF variable. Okay, this is the thing which I would be doing. So, uh, I'll just make the another variable. Um, uh, reader underscore PDF. Let's say this is the uh, variable which I'm just making reader underscore PDF. Okay. Now for that, I just mentioned that firstly, I'll be taking my pi PDF2 library, right? So I'm just using that pi PDF2 library here. I would put a dot. Okay. Now after this, I would just use one uh, function. You can say a class, but you can just like, call it anything, whatever just wish, which we have in this pi PDF2 file. And that is PDF uh, file and it would be 
Redo, R E D E R. Okay, PDF file reader. Now this PDF file reader is actually used to read my file, my PDF file which I have given here. So the name for my PDF file is data science dot PDF, and that thing I have stored in the variable which is read underscore PDF, right? So I'm just putting a bracket here, and I will just add read underscore PDF, right? This is the thing which I have just done here. Now. After this, I would just come on to the next line. Now, uh, basically, what we have, uh, actually, what we have is that we have uh, like uh, many pages on the PDF files, right? Now, for uh, like uh, how many pages actually you want to read? It's not the case that let's say you are having uh, like hundred uh, pages in your PDF file and you want to convert all that hundred pages into a text text file. If this is the case, then it is okay. And if you just want to convert one, two, or three pages into that thing, that thing also can be done here, right? Let me show you how to just write it uh, in the form that basically how many pages you want to read here. Okay? Let's say I take a variable and that is num underscore pages. Okay? Num under underscore pages is basically the variable that I have taken, right? Now in this, firstly, what I'm just doing doing is that I would just write PDF. And basically, it would be reader underscore PDF, the variable in which I have just read my PDF file. So that is reader underscore PDF dot, and I would just put a dot, and here I would be using the function that is num pages. Okay, this is a type of function that we have here, which is num pages, right? Now, basically, what I'm just doing is next in the next basically line. Here in the next line, I would be just, uh, like uh, reading and like getting writing that basically how many pages I just want to be converted into the text file. Okay, how many pages I want. So num underscore pages is done, and I will just write here convert. Uh, I will just write here c o uh, convert underscore pages like this. Okay, convert underscore pages. So it means that basically how many pages do I need here to be converted. Right. So after that, I would just use here the like basically the uh, variable which I had made, and that is reader underscore PDF. Okay. So into this variable only, I have stored my PDF file reader, and that is read underscore PDF. I read my file. Right. So that I have done. Now in the bracket, I would just write num underscore pages minus two. Now basically here, whatever the number of pages you want to convert into the text file. That number of pages you will be writing here. Okay, let's say in my file, in my like PDF which I have taken, that consists of two pages. Okay, I want to convert that two pages into a text file. So I have just written here num pages minus two. Right. So this actually goes on like this. Whatever number of pages you want to convert, you can just put that here. Fine. Let's come on to the next line here. And here I would just take a let's say variable, and that say let's say my next variable which I'll be taking here is um. It's a text, okay. Uh, let me just take it as text here. So text is equal to, and now I just want to extract that text. Okay, so I just not take it text here. I would just uh, take it as uh, extract extract underscore text, okay. This one. So in this file, basically, I'll be using a function that is extract text, okay. So I would just make it the like uh, another variable, and that is one is my convert underscore pages which I had used here. Convert underscore pages dot and here I'll be just using that uh, extract and here that text function. So basically, that will extract all the text which is onto this uh, this file which I have just taken, which is data science dot pdf. Okay, whatever the text I am having onto this file, all the text should be extracted. And now I'll be giving a particular position that or at what position do you need to save this text file that you'll be making. Right, I'm just giving a particular, very particular position for that thing. So just come on to the next line, and let's say I would just take a variable that is location. Okay, now into this location variable, I would be just putting a bracket. Firstly, I would just use the open function. Okay, now I would just put the bracket here, and I would just put the R mode. Okay, R, and I would just put the semicolons. Now inside the semicolons, I would add that. Position where I just want my file to be saved. So I've already written that position here, which I have, and I would just paste it here itself, right? So this is the position where I just want my file to be saved. That is C, then users, then users, and Python project, and then Python project too. Inside this, I want my text file to be saved. And what name should be of that? So I just want my text file to be saved as a name of data science dot txt. Okay. 
this is the name in which I just want my uh, PDF file to be saved in the format of the text, right? Data science.txt. And after that, here I would be just using A mode. That is basically my append mode. That is to add something, okay? That I have done. Now, basically, I would just again use that variable which I had just made right now. That is location. Now, basically, I would just use a function that is write lines. Okay, now this write lines function will basically uh, like it will uh, convert and like uh, write all the lines of the like PDF into that text file. Okay, now basically what to like write and what to write that we had is stored in this extract underscore variable and extract underscore text variable, right? So I would just add on that text here. Fine. And at last, basically what I'm just doing is that I would simply close on my file here. So that is location dot and I would just close it like this. Right, so here I have just completed my whole program. Now just let me quickly do one thing. Let me quickly run out my program here. Okay, I will just run my program here. So okay, it is giving me some error that PDF file reader object is not called able. Okay, let me just go above and see that what is the issue that we had made here. Um, okay, py pdf2 dot pdf file reader. Okay, and that is read and in the bracket we had we need to just put on a read underscore pdf. Okay. After that, reader and R-E-A-D-E-R, okay, convert underscore pages, reader underscore PDF. It is, it is basically also correct. And yes, this is actually right. I do not know that what's the issue. Read underscore PDF, it is given here, data science dot PDF, okay. Okay, let me quickly run it once again and let's see that basically what happens here. Okay, in line number nine, it is saying that type array PDF file, uh, reader object is not callable but in line number nine. Uh, okay, this line convert underscore pages. Okay, that is num pages minus two. Okay, let me just do one thing. Let me make it to one here. Okay, let me just make it to one here. Oh, oh. actually, I'm sorry, I've just debugged it. Let me just quickly close this from here and I will just run it now. Okay, right. So, PDF object is not callable, it is basically giving me this error. Let me just check out that what we had done here actually. Num underscore pages minus one. Okay, so basically it is giving me the error in line number nine that is convert pages reader PDF. Okay, I just, I just forgot to write one function here that is get page. Now basically this get page is a function which I forgot to wrote and it will basically help me uh, to get the pages from the file which we had taken and P would be capital for the page. This get page. Now it's okay. Now let's let me quickly run it once again. Fine. So basically here it will not show me any output. But the location which you have chosen here, okay, what are the location you have chosen? At that location, basically, it will show you a text file. Let me just go on to that location that is here. And yes, here somewhere above, it will show me that uh, that is from the name of D. And what about the PDF and the text? Okay, let me just quickly, I need to find it out that basically where it is. Okay, yeah. Here it is. So uh, this was my PDF that was data science and this is my text file that is data science here. And now basically here you are able to see all the text file which is basically all the text things whichever I have written onto that PDF file that has been extracted as a PDF file as a text file here. Okay. Even this is my PyCharm same folder and on this uh, basically left hand side also I can just find out this data science or txt. This is the whole thing which I have just got here as an output which has been extracted from my uh, PDF file to my text file. Right now basically I hope that you have got a fair idea that basically how you can just extract uh, the text from the PDF file and convert that P dot .pdf to dot .txt extension without using any software or app. Simply you just need to write a program in the Python and your all of the PDF files have been converted into the text file. Right, so this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.